Good morning. I'm Robin Doyle, and I'm here this morning for a couple minutes of your time because it's the time of year that we as a congregation talk about stewardship. As Pastor Pablo guides us through the teachings of Jesus about how we as Christians need to be of service, and as we think about how we can do that, I'd like to share with you some of what we as a congregation have done in the past because it should help us as we reach out to the future. Uh, I'm reminded of a number of things that have happened here in the years that Chris and I have been members. Um, many years ago, one of our Presbyterian Women's Circle received an unusual gift. They were given a gift of a large quantity of wheat. It came in containers that were sealed, and it was such a large amount that it was rather intimidating. But they didn't hesitate for very long. Rather than take the wheat home or use it for church dinners here, they ground the wheat, baked it into bread, and took it to Immokalee for farm workers who might not have enough to eat. Interestingly, they were so good at it that they learned they could sell their bread and use the funds to buy even more food to send to Immokalee. And many of you have participated in similar efforts here. Um, a lot of you remember working to help prepare Thanksgiving dinner for Immokalee. Uh, for, largely for the farm workers there. Uh, you gave your time processing and roasting turkeys, uh, putting together a meal, sometimes for as many as 4,000 people. That effort was led by a couple in our congregation for 30 years and provided a Thanksgiving meal every year for many. Probably more important than the meal, it provided proof that God cares about the whole community and the people that were served. I could tell you more stories about the congregation and efforts to reach out to others and about the legacy of service that you have, but it's time for us to look to the future. The COVID pandemic interrupted a lot of our personal service uh, as, uh, as Christians in this congregation. But it's time for us to step up again. So as you fill out your pledge cards that uh, you see in the pews, uh, let's not forget that we also need to pledge our time and our efforts to follow the admonition of Christ to love and serve each other.